What's up everybody, this is Dread Pirate Forex here, and today we are going to be going over risk management and why it is important. So let's go ahead and get into it. Risk management and business, it is the forecasting and evaluation of financial risk together with the identification of procedures to avoid or minimize their impact. Okay. So Forex success is kind of like a bank vault. You know, it takes many different keys or codes to open the vault. You know, and risk management is one of those keys. You know, uh, trading psychology, you know, technical analysis are going to be other keys that you use to open this this vault of forex success. You know, so um, you know to have success, you know, you've got to have risk management because it is going to be one of the keys that you need to open this vault to get this money. If you kind of get what I'm saying there, you know, you know, it just happens to be one of the biggest keys to success in this industry. You know, if you don't have the risk management, you're not going to have the success. So losses, you know, they happen to everyone. It's just something that you have to uh, understand and grasp as a trader. You know, to be pros profitable, you must be prepared and understand that losing money is just a part of what we call trading. You are not going to win every trade. You are not going to. It's just not going to happen. So you have to understand that losing is just a part of what we do. You know, but losing is also one of the reasons why risk management is easily one of the most broken rules in trading, you know, because people start losing and they they just let their whole trade plan go out the window, you know, and one of the rules in your trade plan should be risk management. So, you know, it is one of those rules that easily gets broken every single day, especially by new traders, people are just starting out, you know, they've got these these thoughts or these visions in their head that they want to be millionaires and everything like that. And, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, they, they're in there, they're swinging for the fences with every single trade that they take, you know, and it's just killing them. So you can't do things like that. You know, you have to be diligent in your risk management and understanding that, you know, without proper risk management, you're not going to see a lot of good returns. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, if you're swinging for the fences on every trade you take, you know, you stand a higher chance of striking out, you know, other than, you know, if you were to, you know, go to the plate with each trade and you're just looking to get on base, you know, you're not looking with every trade you take to make a 50, 60, 70, 80% return on your account. That's just, that's not smart. Okay. Don't be swinging. Don't be swinging for home runs out there. Just get on base. That's all you need. If you get on base, you'll score. Okay, you know. <clears throat> sorry there. <clears throat> Gotta get clear my throat there. Okay, so it's moving on. So how much should you be risking? You know, first and foremost, never trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. You know, if you've got bills to pay, then take care of them first. You never want to put money into a trading account that you need elsewhere, you know, thinking that you're going to take that money, put in a bunch of good trades and double, triple, quadruple it, whatever, and be able to take it out and do what you need to do with that money and still have money to trade with. It's not logical. Don't do that. Okay. So now, how much should you risk on any given trade? No more than 2%. No matter what. No more than 2% per trade that you are taking, okay? One trade, no more than 2%, you know, one pair. You know, so never overexpose your account. Keep maximum exposure to a max of eight to 10% at most, and not all in one pair either. And not on pairs that, you know, trade side by side with each other or trade, you know, inverse with each other. You don't want to do that either. Don't Put all your eggs in one basket, as it so seems. You know, I know I trade only one pair, and, you know, that may seem like I'm putting all my eggs in one basket, but, you know, I'm not overexposing my account. I'm taking just the best setups with a small amount of risk, you know, to reward, and, you know, that is how I'm slowly and slowly building my account. Not swinging for the fences every time, not trading a hundred different pairs, you know, not overexposing my account and then getting screwed because you know if you overexpose your account say you have you know two to three different trades open in like four different Jap 
Japan pairs. Well, generally, then the Japan pairs for the most part are going to trade right along, coincide with each other. So if you've got you know five percent in one pair, five percent another, five percent another, five percent another, you know you just lost twenty percent of your account right there so you know you want to make sure that you're not risking more than two percent per trade that you're taking per pair you know especially if those pairs are you know trading inverse are you know along coinciding with each other or opposite of each other so you know maximum exposure keep it between eight to ten percent you know that's still a lot you know you definitely don't want to be having eight to ten percent of your account exposed all the time you know you know trading is more like a uh, a marathon it's not like a sprint you know so you don't want to be doing that every single day take the best setups you shouldn't even be trading every day if you're only taking the best setups because great setups don't present themselves every single day okay so anyways moving on so how do you find out how much risk how much you should risk you know, to keep things as simple as I possibly can for everyone, I'm going to give you the method that I started out with until I was able to get my own idea of what I needed to be risking on my account. Risk calculators. There are plenty of free websites that offer risk calculators to people to use. I encourage you to find one and play with it and use it while you are trading until you get an understanding. You know, you know, use it on your account size, you know, Use it with the different pairs you are trading, you know, not even if you are trading, just go in there, you know, with your account size on different pairs and kind of figure out how much of each pair, you know, how, how much you need to risk for each different pair. And you'll kind of get the idea of it a lot faster because, you know, not every pair is valued the same. So you need to understand that when you are making trades. So, you know, putting a point one on this pair may not be, you know, the same as putting a one point a point one on another pair. So you need to take that in consideration as well. So using a risk calculator, you can do things like that. You can practice with it, you can play with it, and you can start to get an understanding on what kind of risk each different pair takes and how much you need to be risking when you're trading those based on your account size. So that becomes a very useful tool. And you know, they're free to use pretty I've never had to pay for a risk calculator as far as I know. And um, so, you know, if you want to know how much you should be risking on every single trade, especially if you are new, use a risk calculator. So what does it take to have good risk management? The two biggest things you will need in order to achieve good risk management lies within yourself. And that is patience and discipline. You know, without either of those traits, you will never personally find success in forex you know you may be able to go out there and have someone else manage your money for you and you make a killing but you didn't do that yourself because you had someone else do it someone else who has the patience and discipline to do that so in order to be successful those are two two things you're going to have to have patience and discipline so uh, you know what you want to do in order to kind of help yourself obtain these things is you want to write down your rules for trading and you want to read them to yourself every day and recap each trading day to make sure that you followed these rules okay if you do this you know consistently every single day stick to your trading rules you know your trading rules because you've read them to yourself if you do this every single day you know for after a couple of weeks you will develop a habit psychologically in your mind you will develop the habit to have that patience and the discipline to make sure you're not overexposing your account and risking too much you know you will slowly but surely it will become just second nature to you to not do that you know you've got to overcome that greed that's in the back of your mind that's making you you know swing for the fences and things like that so uh you know you definitely want to you know have a trading plan have it written down and you want to be reading that thing every single day understanding what rules you need to be following and then you know kind of doing an overview at the end of the trading day that you traded to make sure that you know what I I didn't follow that rule you know I need to do something to fix that you need to identify that you need to accept the fact that you're not following your rules and you need to fix that you know no one else can do that for you only you can fix the patience and discipline within yourself 
No amount of teaching can help that. You've got to be able to do that on your own. Okay? Sorry, I'm looking at a few notes here, so um, give me a second. I want to make sure I cover everything with you guys. You know, that's pretty much it, I think. Let's see, yeah. Thanks for watching. You know, I hope this video was helpful to you in your trading journey. You know, if it was, you know, just leave a like and also share it with anyone else you think that may need to see this. You can follow me on Instagram at dread.pirate.4x right here. Feel free to message me there or here on YouTube with any questions you may have. You know, I'm always glad to help anyone try to improve themselves. You know, subscribe to the channel. I will try to put more training videos up at least one a week. You know, trade breakdowns, weekly analysis, and other financial related content. You know, I decide to share, you know, maybe, you know, ways to save money, things like that, different things that I think is important when it comes to trading because, you know, in my own opinion, trading is more in your head than anything else. You know, your technical strategy thing, it's, it's the lowest thing on the totem pole when it comes to being successful trading Forex. There are many other things that you need to master before you can successfully trade Forex, you know, on a consistent basis. So, you know, I'm going to try to slowly go over these things with you guys. So make sure you are sticking around to the channel to see that. You know, and also sharing this information with other groups, I don't care, you know, I really don't care, you know, I'm not charging people for this, I don't really care if it's shared in any other groups or things like that, make sure you give me my credit at least, but you can share this knowledge with anyone, I don't care, but uh, you know, I really want to make sure that everybody is getting the information that they need to be successful, because there is so much bad information out there on the market and there are so many people out there in the forex industry that are just trying to make a, a quick buck off of everybody so you know due diligence you know make sure you aren't getting scammed or getting ripped off by one of those instagram flexors that do nothing but post fancy cars and stupid pictures of louis vuitton bags this and that on instagram I don't follow those guys they're full of shit excuse my language but yeah Stick to people who really know what they're doing and people who show that they genuinely care about your success. Those guys just want you to sign up for their services and that's it. They don't really care about you after that. You signed up, they're going to be your best friend until they get that check. And you'll notice that. Don't waste your money on them. But yeah, sorry for the little rant there at the end. You know, risk management, one of the more important things in Forex trading. You know, if you're not managing your risk properly, you're not being successful. I have people message me all the time. Hey, this, that, this, that, you know, I'm doing really good. Yeah, I go really good for a while and then, you know, I just lose it all. I'm like, they're like, I'm like, why, you know, well, I start, you know, revenge trading. That's, that's not good. You know, revenge trading, you're going to wipe out your account, you know? So with risk management, you know, if you're managing your risk properly, you know, you're not going in there risking 20% of trade, you know, you make five trades at 20% risk each. There goes your whole account if you lose all those trades. But if you take those same five trades at 2% each, then that's only 10% of your account. So you see the big difference there. You know, you may not be seeing massive returns right off the bat, but you need to understand that Forex is a marathon and risk management are the running shoes you need to get to the end. Okay? Be patient and have discipline. This is the Dread Pirate. I'm signing out.